often think of science fiction as being primarily a genre about aliens and spaceships, but of course that's not all that science fiction includes. In this video, I'm going to talk about six other topics for science fiction that can be set right here on planet Earth without anything to do with outer space. Number one is the ocean. Space is like the final frontier, except that we have a final frontier right here on our planet. Scientists still don't know almost anything about the ocean. It's so vast and so deep and we've explored very little of it. So that makes it an excellent place to set a science fiction story. One really famous example of that is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which of course is from the 19th century, so it's pretty old and the science is dated, but there's still plenty of room for science fiction stories set on or under the ocean in the present day as well. While there can obviously be stories that are just about, you know, the amazing wonders of the ocean and whatnot, I think it's also a great opportunity to write stories about climate change and pollution and just generally the state of the planet and our impact on it. Because the ocean is one of the places that's impacted the most by that. Coral reefs dying, sea levels rising, and things like that. Topic number two is cloning. Now, there are obviously a lot of science fiction stories that deal with cloning, and primarily human cloning, although there are also stories that deal with cloning extinct animals, for instance, like Jurassic Park. I think it would be interesting to see more stories about cloning of extinct animals, but that don't follow the Jurassic Park formula. In other words, there have to be things that you could do with that idea other than just running from a T-Rex. And that's not to disparage Jurassic Park. I actually read Jurassic Park, the novel, recently, and I was very impressed. I really enjoyed it. But I do think that it would be interesting to see that kind of formula shaken up a little bit. What are the other possibilities for cloning extinct animals or cloning animals in general? Could we help to save endangered species or bring back ones that have gone extinct very recently due to the impact of humans? Or would something like Jurassic Park be ethical and viable if you didn't clone any T-Rex or raptors but kept it to just the peaceful herbivore dinosaurs? Or is the problem really that you've taken these creatures out of their normal time and place You've put them in the modern world, a world that they're not really adapted to anymore, and you don't know how to effectively take care of them. Number three is artificial intelligence, which is a pretty popular concept in science fiction. And a lot of stories that explore this ask questions about what does it mean to be human? At what point does the machine become sentient and basically a person? Where do we draw the line then between what's alive and what's not? Do androids have human rights? Star Trek loves to ask that question. And yes, I said that this was about things that could take place on planet Earth, and obviously Star Trek doesn't. But it does deal a lot with questions about intelligent machines. <laughs> Number four comes at the same kind of idea from a different point of view, cybernetics. Basically replacing parts of the human body with machinery. And then the question comes up, how much of yourself can you do that to without no longer being you? or no longer being human. Is it okay, you know, if your body is made of machinery as long as your brain is still human? Can you do things to your brain to augment it with technology? Or does that cross a line? It's an interesting question to think about. And while it is very popular in science fiction stories that involve outer space, like, again, Star Trek with the Borg, it's also totally viable for science fiction that takes place on planet Earth. Number five on my list is virtual reality. This is something that we see headlines about all the time in the news. Scientists or engineers working on new virtual reality stuff. It's not really science fiction anymore, the idea of virtual reality, but of course we can take it to a new level that is still science fiction. And it can be an important component in science fiction settings. For example, virtual reality is a very important element of the novel and movie Ready Player One. One of the important things to consider with virtual reality, I think, is what makes something real? Is the virtual reality world more or less real than the real world if it has implications for the real world? And this is something that it can be kind of metaphorical too, like not just for virtual reality in a science fiction context, but like our use of the internet. What we put out there about ourselves on the internet, our social media and all of the, you know, the friends and relationships that we form online and the things that we experience online rather than in person. All of like the Zoom happy hours and everything from 2020. Is all of that not real just because it's virtual? Is it as real as the stuff that happens to us in person? Because it certainly can have real world implications. 
our real world is becoming more and more virtual, so virtual reality is definitely a pertinent topic in science fiction. And then finally, number six, natural disasters. This might seem odd because natural disasters are not fictional, but hear me out. What if a Category 5 hurricane hit New York City? What if the volcano at Yellowstone National Park erupted? What if an asteroid hit the moon and knocked it out of its orbit closer to Earth? That last one is the plot of a young adult series. But you get what I'm saying, right? Not like just normal natural disasters, but like how would a really cataclysmic one affect our society? If something happened in nature that drastically changed the way that our world works, what technology would we invent to cope with it? Or how would our society change as a result of it? I think that's a very science fiction type question, even if it's much more close to home and near future than some of the ones relating to like aliens or faster than light space travel. What are your favorite science fiction concepts? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday.